Thank you for joining us on this Friday of the Word of Encouragement. And as you head into this weekend, I want to give you one of the greatest encouragements we can have as a believer. In fact, every morning as I have the opportunity to meet with the Lord, this is one thing that I always praise Him for and, and talk about with Him, and that is that uh, we have a wonderful intercessor for us. Uh, it's a just a tremendous encouragement when we think of all that he's done for us and how he is working on our behalf. And uh, we read in verse 25 of chapter 7 of Hebrews, Wherefore he is able also to save them to the uttermost that come unto God by him, seeing he ever liveth to make intercession for them. Back in uh, Hebrews uh, chapter 4, uh, you have the wonderful privilege we have to go boldly to the throne of grace to obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need. I rejoice in the fact that I have a Savior who not only died for me, but is actually interceding to the Father on my behalf all of the time. To think of the fact that I am in Christ and Christ is representing me at the throne is that overwhelming glorious thought and I want to encourage each of you to realize that this is something that in our lowest moments can be that which will get us out of the darkness and help us realize God knows exactly what we need and Jesus is interceding for us also we know that the Holy Spirit is making intercession with groanings which cannot be uttered so we have the triune God who is very concerned about the smallest little issues in our lives and there is work being done on their behalf to meet our needs. To access that, we have to go by faith to the Lord. That's why it's so important to take extended time with the Lord, to understand his word, understand what he's doing, and then to have that awareness that God does care and that he is uh, communicating in the Trinity on our behalf. Yes, you're that important, not because you're important in your worth, none of us are, but we're important now in the worth of Jesus Christ. We are a child of God, we have the inheritance of Christ, and we have a position right there at the throne, and so we have the privileged position of being uh, co-heirs with Jesus Christ, joint heirs with him. And so God does care, and he is interceding. It's going to be something when we get to heaven and find out about how all that worked, how God was working on our behalf. What a blessing. But just be encouraged today. Don't you love it when you hear somebody that you know is telling you the truth say, you know, I've really been praying for you. All of a sudden, you've got a positive attitude because you know that person knows how to get to God, and they cared about you, and they're praying for you. And you, it, it, it just helps. <laughs> well, my friend, the best one that could pray in all the universe for you is the Lord Jesus. And he ever lives to make intercession. He wants to save you to the uttermost, not just eternal life, but he wants to give you abundant life. He wants to prepare you for the days ahead. He's on your side. And so stay encouraged. There's someone in heaven praying for you right now.